Hello everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing Loki episode 2 and specifically talking about the Time Variance Authority. So the last episode revealed that the TVA is looking for another version of Loki, so this episode pretty much focuses on searching for that other version of Loki. We get to see a few different time periods like 1980 something and there's like a medieval fair going on and there's an interesting little fight where it appears that Loki is manipulating some of the TVA soldier people and kind of controlling them making one of them kill the others so that's kind of intense and then throughout the episode there's like a lot of talking i will say this show is a little bit dialogue heavy i feel like so that's like a little bit annoying but you know oh well by the way there's going to be a ton of spoilers in this review sorry if i spoiled stuff before but anyways so we move on throughout the episode a lot of talking between loki and mobius i will say i think owen wilson is a great addition to the mc you and his character is very interesting. I'm not a huge fan of like the the main TVA security guard person. I don't know soldier, but you know I don't know. She does. I don't know. She might be a little suspicious. The judge I feel like may be suspicious too. The whole TVA I'm just a little bit suspicious of. I'm just kind of like, how come we've never heard of them before and just what is the deal there's all this great suspenseful music you know and there's just these subtle little things throughout just kind of like what is going on here and then we have like miss minutes and it's just like hmm and like all of the, it's just like they control all of time and it's like yeah people have free will obviously i guess similar to real life but different and then it's like nobody's really seen these three timekeepers except maybe the judge <clears throat> you know it's like even mobius hasn't seen the timekeeper so that's kind of weird but i don't know maybe we'll eventually see them and hopefully they'll be connected somehow to the future of the mcu related to the multiverse but i'm very suspicious of the tva this episode you know comes to a nice suspenseful second half where they go to search for the other loki and loki basically has to battle other versions of loki i guess loki is controlling other people or something and it's kind of a nice little action sequence and it's very suspenseful a lot of you know it's not too action heavy the show it's definitely more of a science fiction show with like a subtle mystery which is kind of nice and different from marvel that it's you know not just the same old action 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 but you know at the end of the episode it's revealed that there's this woman who we thought was Loki, but it's not, so I don't really know. But I don't know, it's possible that it is just another version of Loki. I've read on the internet that it could be Lady Loki or some other person from the comics, which it's probably somebody from the comics or just Loki, but I guess we're going to find out sooner than later. Loki ends up going through the little portal thing, following after that cloaked person, so... I don't know, I guess we're gonna see what happens next. I really like the mystery of this show and the sci-fi elements. Again, like I've said before, the production design and the, you know, the costumes are simple, but it's very nice science fiction-iness, you know, very similar to older sci-fi movies, but then also a little bit of newness, very interesting lighting and cinematography, a lot of like vignettes. Weirdly, this episode reminded me a lot of Stranger Things. I think it was just like the flickering lights in the final sequence. But yeah, I mean, it is a little bit of a slow show, but at the same time, it's very different and interesting. So it, it wasn't necessarily boring, but it was definitely slow at times. And I did like the more suspenseful moments. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this review. Comment down below what you thought of this episode, where you think this show is going, and are you suspicious of the TVA as well? Because I definitely am. And I'm thinking some people may be villains but I don't really think Mobius is but I'm not really sure and I don't even know I feel like Loki 
I'm not sure if he's a villain or not. You know, this is the Loki from the Avengers movie who was pretty evil. So it's weird that he's like made this quick transition. But, you know, hopefully this will be a nice redemption story for him. But comment down below what you think of all that. Like, subscribe, comment, and share if you want. But whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Thank you everyone so much for watching and God bless.